Good morning, YouTube. This is Baron's Beauty. I just have wanted to do a couple of quick videos um, for you all on my hair care regimen. Um, but before we get started, I want to say I hope everyone is having a wonderful and joyous Thanksgiving holiday. And I hope you're spending this time with your close friends and family members and being thankful that God has brought them into your lives. And also being thankful for the experiences that God has um, brought us through and out of, even wrong, right, and different, whether they were joyous and some of them may have even been painful, may have even brought some tears, but even those trials and tribulations we must be thankful for because I guarantee you in the end, God got the glory and you got the victory. So just hang in there for any of those who are going through anything on this, this holiday season. Just being thankful and, and remember it's all for his glory and you will get the victory out of it. But um, back to the matter at hand, like I stated before, I wanted to come by and do a couple, couple of quick videos. I'm going to talk a little bit about my hair care regimen in terms of the, what the process is. And then I'm going to do a, a quick video on my pre-poo treatment. Okay, now when it comes to my hair care regimen, I consider myself a CC girl complex chick because I don't think there's anything simple about my hair care regimen and if I'm wrong because some people may feel that the steps that I go through are the norm so if so please let me know so that I won't think that I am you know um, too complex if, if it's what I do is the norm then please let me know but I have so many steps to my hair care regimen now let me say this although I said that I'm a complex chick my Hair care regimen in terms of the process, the steps that I take, they are consistently the same. I do the same thing every week. What differs is the products that I use. Because as you all know, as Baron's Beauty has always stated, different products serve different purposes. Okay, I don't get so stuck on a hair care regimen that I don't listen to my hair tell me what it needs. And sometimes we tend to do that. I remember early in my journey some years ago, when I first started my hair care journey, I was so stuck on, especially getting on YouTube and getting on the hair care forums and, you know, seeing um, other people's hair and the products that they use and how they use them consistently. And then I feel like, okay, if it worked for her, it'll work for me. And I was so stuck on using these set products that I was not listening to my hair and letting my hair dictate what it needs because I then learned that different products, as I said, it serves different purposes, okay? So like I said, my process is the same. Every week I do a um, detangling treatment and maybe I shouldn't say treatment, but I do a detangling. And everyone knows from my previous videos, um, I think it is my how I prepare my hair for my text lax treatment. Um, I go over my detangling process, and y'all know that I have a three step detangling process fingers, comb, and then fingers that pull out process. And that's what I do every week. I then do a pre poo treatment, I then do a shampoo. 50 to 60% of the time, I would do a rinse. I always do a deep conditioner, always. Um, after I do my deep conditioner, I would do a, um, a scalp treatment. Then I do a um, strengthening spritz. Then I do a leave-in and or moisturize. Sometimes I do both. Sometimes I just do um, a leave-in. Um, and then I oil. That's like nine, ten steps. And like I said, that is my um, that's my my set um, techniques, my process every week. The only thing differs is what products I use. Okay, and this is where I say it's a little complex, maybe. Now, I allow my hair to dictate to me what products I'm going to use. Every night and morning that I moisturize and seal my hair. I analyzed the state of my hair. And this is why I said I had to stop just sticking to what other people's regimen is, come up with my own regimen, and come up with what works for me. And I learned that what works for me is learning that your hair can quickly get off balance. One week, your hair is feeling just as good, moisturized, it's keeping that moisture, you know, strength or moisture protein balanced very well. And then that next week, your hair is dry as a desert because the climate, the pollutants, the friction, the, um, the, the, the maybe the styling that you did that week prior, 
All of that plays an important role in the state of your hair come the next day, come the next week. So I always allow my hair to dictate to me what products I'm going to use. And what, um, for example, what I mean by that is let's say when I moisturize and seal my hair um, on Tuesday, um, Tuesday morning. And then come Tuesday evening when I get ready to moisturize and seal, I analyze my hair and I see, okay, it's dry as a desert. Now, I know I had just moisturized that morning, so that lets me know that my hair is not it is pretty much drinking, drinking up the moisture that I put in, okay? So what that tells me is that it is starving for moisture. So what I'm going to do as a quick fix is I am going to probably um, do my spritzes in the middle of the day. And what I mean by that is I do a moisturizing sealing in the morning, and then come midday, I will go ahead, take my little spritz out of my purse. I keep spritz in my purse, and my spritz consists of a little bit of conditioner and water. And I would spray it. Most time, I'm probably wearing a protective style anyway, like a ponytail. That is my go-to style, or um, or braid around. And what I'll do is I'll just spray. I'll take the tail out of the pony tail and I will spray that, tuck it back in, and then come in the evening time, I'm going to analyze my hair again and go through my um, regular moisturizing and sealing process. Um, even when I'm in a, um, let's say, a braid out, I take, right in my office, I take that spray, put it in my hand, rub it together, and I scrunch, you know, scrunch my braid out um, just to give it some moisture. But that lets me know that on Saturday, when I do my hair care regimen, my um, shampoo regimen, everything, pretty much all my steps from the pre pulling to the end is going to be um, based on moisture. Because that week, my hair told me it needs moisture, starving is moisture, and I listen to my hair. I listen to it. That is so important on a hair care regimen. Analyzing your hair every single day. Every single day. Analyzing it. And then taking that and allowing that to dictate what it is that you're going to do for your hair. Even if it's not consistently the same steps. Um, as I say, a lot of times, even though I have those 9 to 10 steps that I do, if I see that I need to do a henna treatment, if I see that you know I need to do a two-step protein treatment, then of course I'm going to have to alter my process a little bit to do those things that my hair needs at that time. It ain't no, okay, no, I need to wait a couple of more weeks because it's not time for me to do a protein treatment. No, if I see my hair is is needing some protein, then I'm going to do a protein treatment. If I see that, you know, maybe I can just do a, a reconstructing treatment, I'll do that, okay? So that's me. I allow my hair to talk to me, and it has gotten me very far. Now, um, as I stated, um, and I don't want people to think that I have all of these pro Well, I do have a lot of products because I sell international products. Um, and I'm sure you all have heard me say it on other videos. I sell Dominican products. I sell Indian products. I sell um, Venezuelan products, Brazilian products. Um, I sell pretty much whole, a, lieu, a slew of um, international products. Um, and that came from just doing some research and realizing that there are women in other regions of this world who hair is, um, the makeup of their hair is pretty much um, the same as our hair. And we don't always have to just subject ourselves to only American made products. We can actually be utilizing other products that um, other women in a region are using on their hair that gives us, if not better results than the American made products. And I know just from my experience, that is why I started using a lot of international products um, as I said, uh, I use Dominican products a lot, Caribbean products. Um, I love oils. I do a lot of Indian um, Indian treatments on my hair. So, you know, it it it's just something that in my my research and and um, tried and true practices with myself, family members, friends, and clients. And I have found that there are so much more out there that we could be using on our hair that, like I said, if not give us consistently the same results, in many cases I've seen give it better results, okay? Because a lot of their products are, are made with um, natural ingredients. Um, in one good example 
If you notice these days, a lot of the American-made products, they're having the Moroccan oil. Um, they're having um, 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 shea butter. They're putting um, olive oil. All these other, um, all of these other ingredients into the products because they have learned that these things is what our hair need these days. But these are things that other women in other regions of this world, especially the Caribbeans, um, they've been Indians, they've been using this stuff for years on top of years. And many of them, not all, but many of them, if you look at the state of their hair, they have beautiful hair because they don't have to go through doing so much. It is just what they're using and what's in it. Bottom line. So, um, but I still use some American made products. Don't get me wrong. I still use some that I have found to um, work very well with my hair, especially when I'm looking for alternatives to give my hair some breaks. But um, primarily, I, I use a lot of international products on my hair, as you all will see in my upcoming videos. But um, that's pretty much all. I just had wanted to just come by and share that quick. Um, tidbit about my regimen. Therefore, as I'm doing different steps in the videos to come, you all at least have this basic background. Um, you have the disclosure that, like I said, it's nothing simple about my regimen. And I love my regimen in terms of the process. I love it. I, to me, it's like I'm pampering my hair for a whole day. Um, and another thing is I start, I do my process once a week. Primarily on Saturdays, okay? However, let's say on Saturday um, we're planning on um, entertaining some guests at the house or me and my family getting ready, you know, we're going to go out. Then I will start my hair care regimen process um, on Friday night. I would detangle, put in my pre poo and I would just let that sit overnight. And then um, when I get up in the morning, wash my hair and proceed forward with the regular regimen. Um, the rest of the steps. Um, if in the event that it's a um, Saturday like today where I'm just going to be pretty much um, sitting around the house cleaning up for, um, you know, the after holiday um, friends and family over, you know, you have to go through, clean up, you know, get things up that, you know, children run around, probably made, things like that, trying to get the house back in order, then I'm not doing anything today other than that. So I am going to do my pre poo treatment now, and then I am going to, um, tonight, before I go to bed, I will wash it, do my deep conditioner, and then I'll allow my deep conditioner to sit on my hair until the morning time where I would then rinse it out and proceed forward with the other steps of my process. So um, that's pretty much you know what it is and like I said as I bring more videos um, to you then you will get a, a better idea of the different steps that I go through and what each step entails okay thank you and as always I hope you all have a very blessed and prosperous day and mucho besos